Hey everybody, Christopher Rod here. Welcome back to The Witcher 3 Hearts of Stone. Uh, I first of all I have to apologize. I've been off for a couple of days. Uh, if you've seen my Twitter, you would know that I've been incredibly busy with real life activities. Um, I won't bore you with the details, but uh, I finally have some more time and everything should be back to normal ish. So, yeah, here we go. We are going to inform Olgir that we've completed his task and then uh, we're going to head out and take care of other business. Need to chat. I'm all ears, Witcher. Vladimir sends his love. You spoke to him. Impossible. Did more than that. Fulfilled your wish and talked to him extensively. Curious what he had to say? I know he's curious. Fulfilled your wish. Your dead brother had himself one more day like those of old. Very easy to say. But have you got any proof? I do. Vladimir's hand is unmistakable. You've done well, Witcher. Is that all? Or have you something else? Gonna work on getting you Bersodi's house next. Best of luck. Enjoy. If getting the house was anything like getting... The brother... Um, we're in for a ride. Now, it looks like... Is it really this close? Yeah, it's right here. There's some other things, like, we have this. Where's this one? This is a little ways out. Actually, way out there. We'll probably have to venture out anyway, so let's go ahead and... go to the Bersorti auction house and see what we can find out. This the Brasodi Brothers auction house? Seems it. Private Kleiner, you're on duty. Need I remind you? Fraternizing with civilians is not allowed. We're not fraternizing. Purpose of your visit. Why are you guys guarding this auction house exactly? Just curious. Redanian army regulars, right? Lance Corporal Vatslav reporting. And this bloke's my subordinate, Private Kleiner. Careful you don't piss yourself out of excitement. You say <laughs> something, soldier. Not a th I like this guy. Shouldn't you be somewhere? There's a war on, you know. We was transferred here. All official. Written order 76 CWX. Mission, guard the auction house. Priority, high top, in fact. Poor Sodi fella knows his way about the court. Helps the high ranking sell their war booty. <laughs> Gets protection in return. Private Kleiner, that's confidential military information. Any of the owners home? Meaning the one and sole owner, the esteemed host Besodi. Aye, he is. Need to talk to him. Order 76 CWX is clear. Auctions only open to folk with invitations. Writ out in their names, plain and simple. Are you kidding me? I'm not gonna threaten him, but... Gonna let that hold you back? Come on. I'm afraid you're out of luck. Order 76 CWX also held that Lance Corporal Vatslav stick a broomstick up his ass. Kleiner, need I remind you of the penalty for insulting the okay. superior? Who have we here? Don't like Geralt, him. Geralt, the Witcher of Rivia. Vimy Vivaldi. Hey. From... Actually, where are you from? Matters little, mate. Gold <laughs> knows no boundaries. What's all the fash, Corporal Vatslav? Are you squabbling with my pal Geralt? Master Vivaldi, sir, your esteemed associate, he weren't invited to you the weren't? auction, and I've... But I plow and have been, and he's coming with me. In you go, Geralt. That's what I'm talking about. I'm with him. But my orders... Fuck your orders! <laughs> Need I take this up with the sergeant? Ha! I thought not. No! Stand to attention and shut your giggy. Shut your giggy. 
Oh, the lads will be rolling back at the barracks. Sort it! Now march! Round you go! One, two, one, two! The hell is this? Oh, my swords. Appreciate the help. Just night. I've always had a mind to see into old pals and clients. Business with you is a pure pleasure, Vimmy. The dear departed wifey claimed the same. <laughs> ah, folk are assembling. Auction's about to start. Time we went upstairs. I don't think there's anything that we can, like, bid on. Yeah, awesome. What did folk come to bid on? Any idea? All kinds of valuables. Rare weaponry, exotic air. But I've got my eye on a selection of canvases by the master portraitists of the Maribor school. Van der Noob and Longendijk. Well, well. Never knew Van Noob and Longendijk? Of course I'm not. It's all muck and rubbish to me. Point of fact, I'll just wrap them in paper and lock them in the vault. Why in the world do... What do you mean, why, Geralt? I've got to diversify my investments, <laughs> didn't I? <laughs> There's got to be other things that you could invest in, but... Could have sworn the Borsodi's auction house was in Novigrad. It was, but they moved it. You see, Radovid offered Horst a preferential tax rate. Zero percent. Huh. Pretty much unbeatable. Aye. And I've never seen a purer example of the benevolent state. Actually, I'm really just here to talk to Horst Borsodi. Oh, might be more of a problem than you'd expect. Let me guess, he's because not here. An awful hermit, that one. Not a wee bit like his da, my little a keep his soul. But, Horst did like to show his heed during the auction. I'll introduce you to him. Be mighty indebted to you. Think nothing of it. Only if I clicked on loans and promissory notes. <laughs> All right, up we go. Egg, white gold, and mother of pearl with topaz oh, incense. Smell it, Geralt. Sold the from the collection of the mage Aramis. Aggressive harky. Oh, cool. Trimmed with amethyst. Codex Redaniensis. Sole surviving copy. Of Beautiful. <laughs> but first blow would shatter them. Yes. Hmm. Yeah. This one unicorn belong to sorceress. <laughs> Fetish, maybe. <laughs> really? You belong to a sorceress, well. <sighs> must, they must all have something in common. Hmm. A giant's. Or maybe a Jotun's. Zeracanian spears. Excellent adornments for any parlor wall. <laughs> Good to know. Goblet of fire. I wonder what it is. Geralt! You thought of buying realist. Lovely sculpture. Probably end up adorning somebody's garden. Yeah, you're not wrong. Starting price of 2,000 crowns. Hey! He's Canadian! won't start for a time yet, it seems. Vimy, this is a banquet. Aye? And? I detest banquets. Vacuous conversation, food portions fit for a mouse, drinks that taste like piss. Ah, it won't all be bad. Let me introduce you to some of my most interesting associates. Old hand there is Countess Mignol. Wager you'll have plenty to blather about with her. <laughs> Prick in the corners, Hilbert. New coin, that one. Came into a right fortune playing quite. Oh. Ah, there's Yaramir, art dealer. A purer snob I've never known. But he knows paintings like no other. So, ready to chat someone up? It's not fitting for us to stand here like knobs. <laughs> <laughs> okay, fine. I'll do all the talking. Oh, smell it. Yaramir. Might we trouble ye a wee spell? Mm hmm Greetings, Vivaldi. Who's this? Geralt of Rivia. Witcher. I thought you might have a blather with us. About the paintings on the block today. Hmm? Ah, sniffing for a quick turnaround as usual, are we? Pot calling the kettle black, I'd say. Do a lively trade in canvases yourself, my friend. True. 
Yet first they delight my eyes, whereas you treat them as mere promissory notes. The only arts that interest you are those culinary. What about you, Witcher? Do you know anything about paintings? I know a few things. Realize this might be hard to believe, given my crude-looking mug. But yeah, I know a thing or two. Truly? We ought to see what? Oh god, don't test me. Don't test me. Do you know our friend Vivaldi is in possession of five canvases by Van der Nobe? Yet he cannot distinguish them from landscapes at five crowns apiece. I shan't pretend it's otherwise. Yet for you, my dear connoisseur Witcher, that should present not the slightest problem, so do tell which of these is the handiwork of Edward van der Nobe, the master from Maribor. Isn't he... didn't we say a port... he was a portrait guy? I think it was a portrait. It was it was the portraitist of really? Maribor, merchant with the pearl. No two ways about it. And it was t it was Vandernoob and my my Vanderdick or something. Who would have thought? Hmm. Might I have a word in private? Forgive me my impertinence. At first, I thought you an ignoramus. Vivaldi's equal. I feel I should apologize and atone, so I shall tell you a secret. A Van Roe is due to a appear Van Roe. on the block. <laughs> the painter's unknown largely, but has a fierce admirer in Marcus Hodgson, a bookseller, has his shop in Novigrad's main square. I wager you'll sell him the canvas at a tidy profit. Thanks. Oh, think nothing of it. Now, please excuse me. My friends back in. Now, how does that help us exactly? So, what did he tell you? To buy the Van Roe. Apparently, this bookseller in Novigrad's willing to pay top coin for his work. Oh, who'd have thunk? All right, let's go. Ink spot upon ink spot. She a number of them's doing my head in. I don't mind telling him either. Like, if he wants to. Funny. If we end up bidding against each other or something, he got me in here, so I mean, I'd be pretty happy about that. Greetings to the Honorable Countess. Madam, allow me to introduce my dear friend, Geralt of Rivia. Witcher of the School of the Wolf. You got it. Forgive me, but have we had the pleasure? No, but your guild is unmistakable. Your medallion. Take note, Geralt. Countess Mignol is an eminent collector of Vitaminaica. Vedemi. What now? Vedemineca? All manner of objects related to the witcherly profession. Oh. Swords, gear, medallions. Cool. Mind if I ask how the Countess became interested in us humble monster slayers? I've some pleasant associations. Dating from my oh-so-distant youth. Didn't you see such things, Countess? You look right fetching to me. That's very kind, Master Vivaldi. But apart from my Vedomaniaca, I also own a number of mirrors. <laughs> Your most prized piece. What would it be? An armor element. An antique. School of the Wolf. From 1234. Classic. Is it up for sale? I fear not. It's a memento. One of great sentimental value. But perhaps the Countess has got other Witcher curios she's willing to part with. Or acquire. Uh, perhaps she could trade. I'd charge 5%. Okay, modest, Vivaldi. Uh, uh, transaction. You fee. greedy bastard. Vimy, never seen anyone so good at laying their mitts on coin that clinked within earshot. But what the hell? See if we can't make a deal. Let's see. So what does she have? Viper armor. Oh, wow. Oh, what? This is cool.
Let's see if I can't get rid of some stuff. Strap trophy. Oh, I didn't see this. King of Swineherd's crown? Oh, I should be using that for sure. Extra gold. Do we have anything else that we could give her? Not really. I could probably sell off some of my runes. Do we have any lesser? Yeah, we have a bunch. She's paying pretty well. She doesn't have much coin left, but that'll do. Does the Countess have her eye on anything particular today? No, but Horst Borsodi insisted he would put up something that would be of interest. Did he happen to say what it was? No. Oh, you know what he's like. A walking enigma. On another topic, Master Geralt... I was wondering if you'd be willing to help a lady in need. Depends on the nature of the need. Oh, it's quite the trifle. I stepped out onto the balcony a moment ago. I dropped an earring while there. I couldn't find it. It must have fallen through the floorboards. Perhaps you, with your cat eyes. Okay, I'll go. Not a problem. I'll go right away. I shall be much obliged. See you in a minute, Vimy. Let's go find this thing. Hmm. Some spilled wine. Nothing else. Hmm. She's just trying to get me out here, I think. There's no earring out here, is there? She wanted to separate me from Vimy. None. Maybe the Countess would care to explain what this is about, all jokes aside. Forgive me. I... God, this is so embarrassing. Do... Do you uh, know Ve Vesemir? I knew it was going to be Vesemir! Was a That's hilarious. You, wore a mustache. Do I know That him? was the... what the and memento was me from. I know. What? How is he? If you don't mind my asking. Oh, God. Don't mind at all. But before I answer, I also wouldn't mind knowing how you knew each other. Oh, I've told no one. Not ever. But I suppose I owe you an explanation. It was the winter of 1234. A beast prowled the streets of Oxenford. A fledder, I believe. A contract was issued, a notice posted, and a witcher appeared. Vesemir, of the School of the Wolf. He came through our estate, tracking the beast. Our eyes met. Something sparked. I wrote him a message, asked my governess to deliver it. He visited, under the cover of night, night after night. <laughs> On one such occasion, my father heard something. Vesemir had to flee. So quickly, he left behind his gambeson. Ah, the first piece. The start of your collection. Yes but also the end of our love. Father had an arrest warrant issued, then quickly married me off. I was fortunate. My husband died young, leaving Jeez. me a sizable fortune. And thus, I have lived on memories. The th I don't really have good news. Let's see how she takes this. <sighs> Afraid I have bad news. Oh? Please tell me, did he at least die like a witcher? No, he died like a hero. <sighs> there is that. I thank you for tolerating a decrepit madwoman so elegantly. Please don't say that. I am old and I am wealthy. I may say what I please. <laughs> I like her. And now... 
Be safe feel bad for her, but me to my thoughts. It'll be interesting to see what the other one has up their sleeve. Hilbert, his name was? Halbert! It's been years. Allow me to introduce you, Geralt of Rivia. Enchanted. Pleasure's all mine. How's it? Got your eye on any sparkly bits today? Not really. I buy what strikes me fancy. I need something right sumptuous for me walls just now. Nilfgaard. I get it right? Excuse me? Your Gwent deck. It's Nilfgaard, innit? No. Come on, admit it. Not a bad deck, Nilfgaard, but I'll take the Northern Realms over it any day. Ah, understood. A patriot. You ought to know, Helbert. Geralt here is a positively super. Superb player. You got Superb. it. Superb. Hmm. We got a minute before the auction starts, so nudge, nudge, wink, wink. Maybe around. Oh, this could be interesting. Let's do it. Oh my God, I'm nervous. Oh, we're going all in. Hmm. Suppose it's not whether you win or lose. Sure, I'm game. Brilliant. I'll lay my cards out. Naturally. Uh, Geralt, may I have a wee word? Uh oh. What is it? Well, mate, since I brought you together, I do oh my God. share of your winnings, if there are any. Ten percent. Come on, dude. Sorts, okay? mm -hmm. Pretty clear now why you wanted us to meet. One cardinal bit I've learnt in my trade, friend. Coin, then a stink. So, what'll it be? Not this time. Awfully resourceful of you, Vimmy. I'm impressed. Gotta refuse all the same. No offense. Then I make a fuss now. I'm a dwarf and a banker, so I'm doubly thick skin. Good luck to you. All right, game on. Okay, let's get focused here. Okay, we have, that is not the deck we want. This is not the time to experiment. I don't know if I've seen his leader card. Decoy is nice. Oh, we have no spies. There's a spy. What's his leader card do? Abilities that restore units to the battlefield restore a randomly chosen unit. Affects both players. Wow, okay, that's kind of cool. We don't have a lot of those cards, but... Gaunter? Oh, dim. No way. What did he bring in? Darkness. Okay. Hmm. I mean, this is not a bad Scorch opportunity. But at the same time, I'm kind of hoping that he might decoy this card. But I feel like he would have done that already. Which means he probably doesn't have any decoys. So... Let's do it. Okay, that's good. That keeps us safe. Morvin Vorgis. Shall I keep going? Um, I mean, we're so committed. He's really low on cards, so... I'm actually going to go ahead and play our... Blue Stripe Commando here, knowing that we could bring one back. It is a randomly selected card, but 
Jesus. He's going all out here. Yeah, he's gonna have to do that. Okay, so if I decoy this back, which I think I'm gonna do, we still have the lead. Right? This would drop us by... Oh, maybe not. Because that would have us at 15, 25, 35, 39. No, it wouldn't work. Um... Oh, actually, I could decoy this back, and then I could Commander's Horn. And that way, I could get them both out next time. Um... But then I won't have Commander's Horn. Well, this kind of depends here on what I draw. But at least then my Commander's Horn's useful for something. Because if I just leave it out here now, there's a chance that I'd, it won't even affect anything. So let's do that. Please be a spy. There's a pretty good chance. Oh, it's a trebuchet. <laughs> I mean, I think we just gotta go for it. Yeah, we got him. This one, again, it's, uh, let's see. Affects both players. It doesn't mean that if I bring it back, he's gonna get a random card. It doesn't matter. We won. Let's take it. Unbelievable. I don't buy it. You cheated. You must have. Okay. Summit. Hexed me or whatnot. Oh, I'd be careful with the gab, Hilbert. Before Geralt takes a mind to demanding satisfaction. Is that the only way you win, is when <laughs> you cheat? You give it to him, you damn midget. You bearded pinch fist. Oh, ho, ho, ho. interest will be a right bit higher when that bugger next comes round asking for a loan. It's <laughs> pretty funny. Esteemed ladies, honorable gentlemen, the auction will begin shortly. Take your places, please. Ah, at long last. Come with me to the fort. We won't see much elseways. Alright, where are we going? Arr. Really? Vimy, listen. Forgot to ask you. They'll bring out... Counting on it. In the meantime, have you got a budget? Mm. If you... Of course, pal. An out of here. Ought to do you for a bit of daffodil. Happy hunting to you. Esteemed ladies and gentlemen, welcome back. I hereby open the auction. All right. Ladies and gentlemen, lot number one is a brass figurine from the collection of the infamous Count Romilly. Rumor has it the figure harbors a treasure inside. Oh, I want that. A rumor one may I want uh, everything. <laughs> or disprove solely by destroying the beautiful bauble itself. Starting price? I have no problem quite destroying the it. bargain at 50 crowns. Any advance? With Master Hilbert at 100. To Countess Mignol, now at 150. Do I hear 200? Might I have an advance? I'm in. I'm in. I don't know Our how high this is gonna raise, but. Of 200. Do we have 250? 200 once, twice, thrice. Splendid Countess Mignol bids 250. Do I hear 300? I'm in. My, my, this is lively. I've 300 going once, going twice. Do we have 350? 300 thrice. That's right. And sold to the white-haired fellow. Lot number one, the mysterious brass figurine. Proceeding now to lot number two. A canvas by the young Novigrad artist. Oh, this is the Van, Van Roe. 
Starry Night over the Pontar. Charming piece. <laughs> Truly a bargain Classic. at 20 crowns. Ladies and gentlemen, 20 crowns. It's practically naught. I'm in. Oh, with a bidder. Cat-eyed, no less. At 20. Do I hear 30? Forgive me, Geralt. Business. Oh, I friggin' knew it. Business. I knew it, Vimmy. 30 from Vimmy Vivaldi. Do I see 40 anyway? 30 going once, going twice. I'm in. Aha! The white haired gentleman bids 40. Who will bid more? 40 once, 40 twice. Vivaldi the bank is not about to give up easily. 50! Any advance on 50? Oh my god, Vimmy. 50 going once. You make going me go twice. broke. Last chance, ladies and gentlemen. Oh, we've a right bidding war here. 60, the excitement. Shut it down, Vim. Vim. On 60. Shut it down. 60 going once, 60 going twice. Oh, all yours, Geralt. Sold! Van Rose, starry night over the Pontar to the gentleman with the cat eyes. Lot number three, ladies and gentlemen. Ooh. A true rarity, scarce as hen's teeth. Spectacles. A frame of gold. Mountain crystal lenses polished by the tiny, dexterous hands of the gnome masters. Once the property of the famed hired assassin known as the Professor. Oh, yep, Starting I want. Price of 200 crowns. Anyone 200? Says, Gwent Maestro Hilbert offers an advance of 50. Do I have three? My, haven't we livened up? Hello, jeez. 300 geez. from Yaramir Ivanovich Zaitsev. Going once, twice. Incredible. With the white-haired gentleman now, good folk, at 350 crowns. This guy's gonna be pissed if I walk away with everything. Any advance? 350 going once. Going twice. Uh-oh. Sold! Invaluable spectacles to the white-haired gentleman. Exceedingly glad they'll be useful. May they serve you well, sir. Oh, the excitement. With what the else? three lots behind us, we'll go to an intermission. Amenities abound. Please partake. We'll resume shortly. Okay, cool. Oh, Geralt, look! Horst Basudi! Come on, afore some other cocksuckers steal him. Just, well, don't expect a warm welcome. Yeah, you can probably hear you saying that, by the way. Greetings, Horst. Allow me to introduce a dear friend and associate, Geralt of Rivia, who comes uninvited. Oh, yeah. Forgot my manners. Forgive me. The teaching at Kaer Morin, well, etiquette wasn't high on the list. Scandalous. Hmm. That's plain to see. <laughs> Got the distinct impression the two of you started off on the wrong foot. Perhaps we should raise a toast to... What's one like you want from one like me? Yeah. The Borsodi's auction house. I'm assuming the name's no coincidence. Got a relative I could talk to? Someone... How do I say this? A smidgen less irritating? <laughs> Name's a historical legacy, Geralt. Auction House was founded by two brothers, Horst's father and an uncle. In this generation... I, and only I, am it. So get to the point. Now. Right. Let's dispense with the niceties. Maximilian Borsodi's house. Gotta lay my hands on it, whatever it. What? Where did you learn of it? Gentlemen, uh -oh. no reason to lose our We hit a button. Raise our voices. <laughs> I ask you, where did you learn of it? Whoa, come on now. Where? Jeez. I mean, he obviously knows, and I'm not telling him. Doesn't matter. Willing to tell me what it is or not. Guards, escort God. the Witcher out. And he's not to enter, not alone, not hand in hand with Hierarch Hamelfart. Honestly, he asked a question. It was a simple inquiry. One more word, and I shall move my accounts to the competition. <laughs> Sorry, mate, but... Yeah, no I get it. No reason to trouble the guards, Horst. I'll go willingly. I don't recall giving you a choice in the matter. Kick his swiving mutated ass out. This went well. I hope I get all the things I bought. Your swords, master. 
Law says we're to return them. Law don't say when, though. So we'll do it. Oh, now. you think so? Just after we beat the singing shite out of the honorable gentleman. Mm hmm. Gathering place for the elite, truly. Come on, lads. Let's loosen our muscles a bit. Let's do this. Going down. What? Lost your nerve? Let's go. Damn it. Right. Lift. Give me some space. Oh, there's one. There's two. Give me those swords, pricks. Law says if you see someone hurt, you should summon a medic. Law doesn't say how fast, though. So you can sit tight a while. <laughs> Lovely. Seems true what they say. Sword or no sword, a witcher brings go. Uh oh, who's this? Not in the mood for your peasant wisdom. Who the hell are you? If all goes well, dare say I'm your partner. Don't need any partners. Oh, I don't know about that. No chance you'll lay your hands on Max Bosso. What? Who is this? Really think you can help me? We can help each other. Get to the point, if you can. To get this house, you need to get into the vault. And there's no way Horst will let you in there out of the kindness of his heart. A heist. Don't like that idea one bit. Got any others? Find the herbalist lives near Oxenford. Ask for some yarrow extract. He'll know why you... Yarrow extract. This is a trap of some sort. Be seeing you. I hope. Who's watching us there? That's Brasodi. What? This could definitely be a trap for sure. I guess we'll have to find out. Wish me luck, guys. We'll see you next time. Goodbye.